If you are using a lot of tools aside from ClickUp, you'd be happy to know that ClickUp has a lot of native integrations that you can actually integrate with. So in today's video, I'll be walking you through what are those 12 tools that you can actually integrate with ClickUp. My name is Shirley from the ClickDown channel and let's get started. As freelancers, business owners, or even just employees, we use Slack a lot. So that's our communication tool for communicating with a team, with everyone remotely. So that's the first tool that we will actually integrate with ClickUp. So if we will go to your ClickUp, then you just need to go to your settings here and you will see integrations and then go ahead and select Slack. So since I've already integrated my Slack, I already have here my notification set up, but you can go and click add notification and then select what space you'd like the notification to come from. So like your Slack channel, where you want the notification to go and then click save. And if you see this gear over here, you can also select what type of notification you want to receive. So you can receive for tasks that are created, status change, or in my instance, I just selected whenever I have a new comment or whenever I am mentioned. So you can go ahead and save that. So if you'd like to test this one, then all we need to go is select that location where we had the integration enter and enter a comment. So once I selected that comment and I go to my Slack, then I should be able to see a new comment. This is a test. So at the same time, this is not just a one way thing where I'll be able to see notifications from ClickUp to Slack. So I can also create tasks from Slack to ClickUp. So these are for these people who don't really like going into ClickUp or they're not used to using ClickUp as much. So you can encourage them to create tasks from Slack. So again, as long as they are already integrated, you can simply go ahead and type forward slash and click on new. So I'll go ahead and do that. If I click on enter, it will say options, create a task. And so I'll go ahead and create a task right here in ClickUp. So I just need to select the workspace that I need to create the task in. Again, choose the space, choose your folder and choose your list. And the task will be created in that order. So aside from Slack, you can go ahead and integrate the second tool, which I also love. It's your email. So again, go to your settings or integrations and you will see here email. So let's say you can go ahead and integrate whatever email platform you're using. It could be Microsoft Outlook or Gmail. You can go ahead and integrate one email for the unlimited plan. And then I believe two emails on the business plan. So right now I already have my business email linked to ClickUp as well as turning on my email click app in here so that I can also send and receive emails inside ClickUp. So how does that look like? So for example, in this task, I can go ahead and actually send an email from here as long as I already have my email, enter a subject line and then create an email and send it from here. So this is also useful if you would like to set up automation emails, because since your email is already integrated with ClickUp, you just simply need to go to automate and go ahead and create an email automation. So we have a lot of email automations in here. We have custom, for example, when 
a task is moved to a certain location, when a status is changed. So let's say when a status is changed, we want to go ahead and send an email. Now let's say if a task is complete, that's when we want to go and send an email. So just go ahead and select the email where it should go, subject line and the body of the email, and go ahead and create the email. So with this email automation, this email will already be triggered every time you actually change status to complete. So it's easy as that. Another tool that you can integrate with ClickUp is Zoom. So we always use Zoom whenever we have meetings. So why not integrate it with ClickUp, right? So all you need to do again is to go to integrations and connect your Zoom with ClickUp. Once you have that integrated, you can actually start and end meetings from inside a task. So all you need to do is let's say you have a meeting at the beginning of every week, every Monday at 10 a.m. So you just need to choose this Zoom icon in here and it will go ahead and open or start a Zoom meeting. And the best thing with that is that people who also are assigned to that task who needs to go to the meeting will also see the link to join the meeting. So there goes the question of where's the Zoom link or where's the recording for this Zoom meeting because after the meeting ends, the recording for the meeting also gets saved inside this task. Another tool you can integrate with ClickUp is time tracking. So most of us may want to choose a third party time tracker, but just so you know, ClickUp also has a native time tracker. You just need to add it as a new column. So if you click on the uh, show hide, and make sure that your time tracked is showing in here. So you can go ahead and just go ahead and um, track time using their native time tracker. But if you prefer using third party um, time tracker, then you can go ahead and go to integrations and go to time tracking. So there are now more tools that you can integrate with ClickUp compared to before, you now have Toggle, Harvest, Clockify, Hubstaff, Every Hour, Time Doctor. So you're not without a shortage of time trackers. So with this one, just make sure again that your time trackers are on the paid version so that you could have them integrated. So if you're also using Google Drive or Dropbox a lot, you'd be happy to see that we have integrations with those cloud storage in ClickUp. So make sure that these are all enabled so that you can go ahead and attach them to items inside of ClickUp. So whenever you put a, a Google Drive link, it will show up as a clickable link that will be opened right inside your Google Drive. So another tool you can use in ClickUp is Loom. So Loom is for recording videos. And if you have here a Loom video, you just need to copy it and paste it inside of your task. So if I go ahead and paste it, you can see that the whole Loom video is already showing and not just a simple text URL. So you can go ahead and save it this way inside a task inside a, um, a comment. So it's going to show up as an actual video or you can add it as a view if you want. You can embed the whole Loom video in there. But just so you know, ClickUp also has its own recording tool. So with Loom, you need to have a paid account if you want to record for more than five minutes or if you want to have recordings for more than 25 items. So with ClickUp, you don't need to have a Loom account. So all you need to do to record your audio or video inside of ClickUp is to either you can go to a comment here. So we'll delete the Loom video we just did. And you can see here that there's an option to record a voice clip. And also you can record a screen clip if you just want to screen share. So you can record as long as you want and clip up storage is pretty much unlimited if you're on the paid plan. So it's a pretty good deal. 
So aside from going inside a task, you can also record by clicking on this icon over here and click record clip. So make sure that when you're recording, you actually save it somewhere because it's going to be pretty hard to find where exactly the recording is for site. Another tool that you can integrate with ClickUp is Calendly. So Calendly, of course, is a calendar scheduler if somebody wants to book a call with you. And the purpose of having it integrated with ClickUp is so that whenever perhaps somebody books a call, you want it to go inside ClickUp as a new task so that you're kind of notified whenever a booking is coming up. Another tool you can integrate with ClickUp is Miro. So Miro board is a pretty powerful tool that you can use for mapping out workflows. So I have a Miro board here for a hiring flowchart. So what I'll do is I will embed my Miro visual workflow into the HR folder. So I want my HR team to be able to refer to that workflow so they don't have to go outside of ClickUp. So I simply embed the URL and add view and the mirror board will be populating here inside ClickUp. So this should be pretty useful for your team if they prefer using Miro or an external party or external third party tool when they're mapping out workflows, says ClickUp's workflow or ClickUp's whiteboard is still pretty in beta stage, so it's not that fast yet. But right now, you can definitely embed other workflow mapping tools here inside ClickUp. So, aside from that, you can also integrate Figma. So Figma is a tool that graphic designers usually use. So I have here a meeting agenda for Figma. So what I'll do is that I will embed it into our meeting folders so that our team can follow that meeting agenda whenever there's a meeting. So under embed, you will see here the, the link to Figma and just go and enter the link and add view. So Figma is now embedded as a new view or page. So your team can definitely just open this view or list or page whenever you're having a meeting agenda without going outside of ClickUp. And of course, you can definitely use Zapier or Integromat or Make to integrate tools with ClickUp. So Zapier can help with automations and if you want certain tasks to fill out with certain information from custom fields, then you either need that or what we call Make for automations. So that's pr particularly useful whenever there's a form that's being submitted or when there's a change in a certain task and you want to get certain data from an, another party or another tool, then Zapier or Integromat will be kind of the middle person to integrate it and automate tasks easily. And last but not the least, if you haven't downloaded it yet, please download the ClickUp Chrome extension. And this is really a lifesaver for me. So if you have a Google Chrome, go ahead and search for the ClickUp Chrome extension. So it should look like this one. Go ahead and install it. So it should be this small icon here. And what it does is that it can create a task for you wherever you are. You don't have to have a browser open or you don't have to have your app open. As long as you have this ClickUp Chrome extension, you can go ahead and take a screenshot, create a task, track time, send an email with this Chrome extension how it works is for example i am in my email then i just need to look for this icon the click up uh, chrome icon let's say i want to be able to take a screenshot so i'll take a screenshot of this and then i want to add it to a task 
So let's say I want to add a new task. And if you haven't registered yet, you should definitely register for the ClickUp Level Up Conference on Feb 28. So I just go ahead and create a new task right from this Chrome extension. And I can even attach this full email to that task that I just did. So you can see here that this is a attachment and I will go ahead and attach it to the uh, to the task here. I will uh, assign it to me. That's it. It should already be attached to this task as well. So you can see that the name of the task appears here on top of the email. So if I click on the task, then it will have all the attachments that we just entered now, which was the actual screenshot. And we also have the email attachment. So there are a lot of cool things that you can do with ClickUp and with integrations and automations. And so I hope that you're able to maximize and optimize the tools that you're using on top of ClickUp's powerful features. And if you want to know more, you just go ahead and subscribe to our channel and watch out for more ClickUp videos.